In Visio 2010, there are quite a few different ways to connect shapes together. So I thought I'd just go through and show you as many of those ways as I can think of right now, because it's a lot easier just to see it being done than to read about it. So one of the basic ways to, to connect shapes is to use the actual connector tool, which you'll find on the Home tab in the Tools group. So let's just click on that, and you can drag over the middle of a shape. You'll see the red highlighting. You click and drag to another shape, you see the red highlighting, and you've created a dynamic glue. And that means this shape, the, the connector will connect these shapes in the closest, shortest possible route, no matter where I move the shapes. You also notice these little connection points around the edge that allow me to create point-to-point -point glue, which means these particular points will stay glued together, no matter how I move the shapes. So we can contrast that behavior really quickly. You'll see that this has dynamic glue, it has bigger red handles when I click on the connector, and when I move the shape around, the closest edges stay connected. You, know, you can see he's avoiding this one because there's an incoming connector, but if I come down here like this, the, the closest edges stay connected. This sh Let's delete that connector. Now I created this one with point-to-point -point glue. You can see there's smaller red handles indicating glue, and the right side of the shape always stays glued to the bottom side of the shape no matter where I move it. The path might change, but the sides that stay glued are always the right and the bottom side of the shape. So let's undo that and send it back again. Now, if connectors are just sitting out in space, you can actually move them into to the vicinity of a connection point or a shape center, and Visio will glue it up for you automatically. You can see that we got close enough to two shapes. Visio said, oh, you must want to create a glue there. Now, in this case, you'd only found one shape to glue to, but we can do the, the reverse of moving the connector and actually move a shape so that it gets connected. In that case, we, did, we created a point-to-point -point glue. If I drag it underneath, you'll see the, the red handles on the connector are a little bit different depending on whether I'm over a connection point or over the, the middle of a shape. And here we've created a dynamic glue, and you can see that connector shrunk up quite a bit and just looked for the most efficient path. Now, we've also, we've also seen the blue arrows, the blue auto-connect arrows, and we know that we can mouse over one of those and select from a, a small set of shapes and not only insert the shape, but get a connector as well. You can see those are connected right away. But what you might not know is that if there's a shape in the general direction of the auto-connect arrow, you can just click the arrow and create a connection to that existing shape. If there's no shape over there, here we see to the right there's no shape, and we and we try this method, click, Visual will just pick the top shape in that list. So again, the top shape in the mini toolbar is the process shape, so if I just click the arrow, Visio says, oh, there's nothing over here to connect to. I won't. I'll just choose a default. So if we go down and just click the down arrow, it says, ah, oh, there's a decision diamond down there, let's just connect to that. Another thing you can do with the blue auto connect arrows is actually drag connectors out of them. So here, I'm, instead of clicking on it or selecting one of these shapes, I'm going to actually click and drag from it and drag a connector out and connect it way down here to the bottom of this decision shape. So that's kind of cool. It's almost like you're sw you've switched to the connector tool temporarily. You can see I'm dragging this around. Let's go over here and create some complicated connector. When I let go, I have my pointer tool back again, and I've got a new glued connector. So let's clean up some of this a little bit. Another thing you can do with these, uh, the blue auto connect arrows have so many different options, it's hard to keep track of them. But just learn a few techniques, the ones that you're most comfortable with, are the ones that really jump out at you in this video, and stick with them. You can always learn more techniques later as you get better working with Visio. If I drag a shape onto the page, I can get it to connect to an existing shape by pausing over the blue auto connect arrow. And you'll see Visio will drop this custom four hexagon shape 
offset it nicely and connect it. You can see the red handles indicate that this is glued and you'll see the connector follows it right along. If you need to add a shape between two steps, this is my favorite feature in Visio 2010, you can see that I can actually drop a connector, uh, excuse me, drop a shape onto a connector and you'll get these interesting handles. And Visio will split the connector into two different connectors, glue the new shape into place, and push everything out so that the uh, there's space for the new the new incoming connector. This gets really cool when you have a lot of shapes connected. Let's just put a new one in here. You can see Visio moved the whole flowchart out of the way to make room for the new incoming shape and uh, made sure there was an incoming and outgoing connector. That pretty much wraps up the different ways you can connect shapes. You can see there's quite a few different ways to do it, but experiment and just have fun. Uh, the main places to look again are the connector tool and then the blue auto connect arrows that you see when you hover over shape. And uh, you, can, you can click on them, you can click and drag from them, you can wait for a toolbar to show up, or you can pull connectors directly out. So quite a few different options there. Have fun experimenting with it.